Are you currently experiencing depression or maybe just in a low space in your life? Or maybe just not living every day in contentment, joy, and happiness? If so, I got the perfect video for you. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt Schmidt and I guide people to heal themselves. In this process, I'm going to be taking you through is this simple, uh, effective, and powerful uh, way to release all the things that are holding us back from that. Because if we think about it, the stuff that's affecting us now, literally none of that is happening now. <laughs> so what happens in these states of depression is something happens to us and we don't actually process those emotions. Maybe something makes us angry and then that makes us sad and we don't actually work through those emotions. So depression, I kind of see as being focused on something in the past and basically something that's been unprocessed. Okay. So there's maybe some sadness that we're hanging on to. Well, that sadness eventually becomes kind of your state of being after a while. And then that becomes almost your personality. So it gets pretty ingrained and just talking about it and figuring out things on a conscious level, I found, at least for myself personally, that it doesn't actually get to the root of why this is happening. So uh, I went to a lot of like therapy and I got to a point where consciously I knew all the answers, but I still felt that depression. Okay, so what we're doing today is actually getting to the root of it, and by reaccessing it in this way, we can actually process it, and then we don't have to hang on to it anymore. Okay. The nice thing about this process is you don't have to relive anything. You've already survived, so there's no point in dragging you back through stuff. The important thing is to see how it impacted you, how it affected you. Um, some of you may already know where this started, where it came from, and if you don't know, that's okay too. Um, it may come from before you even had like conscious memory of it. Maybe you just think you've always felt that way, but it came from before you um, consciously remember where it came from. So either way, um, we're just going to track this back to kind of where it begins, where it originates, and then heal kind of from the inside out. Okay, And we do that, we get this ball rolling the other way. Okay, So you didn't get here in a day. So just be kind to yourself, give yourself that, that space, that grace that you need to heal. And I encourage you to revisit this. You can come back to the beginning of the meditation part and process the layers of this. And things get lighter, things get freer, things get easier as you do this. And, and do it till you don't feel that state that's uh, don't feel that state anymore. Okay. So each time you do this, it will get easier and you'll feel lighter, you'll feel freer, you'll have more energy, like really everything all kind of snowballs from there. So just the fact that you're here right now is huge. So give yourself some credit. Yeah, you're already amazing even for just taking a hard look at this, diving into this and actually wanting to be in a better space. All right, so I'm going to invite you to get somewhere comfortable. We're just going to jump right into the meditation. And I want you to now just allow your eyes to close. And just take a nice, slow, deep breath. Nice, big, deep breath in. And as you exhale, just allowing that breath to flow from your head all the way down to your feet, relaxing your entire body. In your own time, another deep breath. And remember each time you exhale, you deepen that relaxation even further. And another deep breath in your own time. Now in a moment, we're going to start with some intentions. Intentions are important as they let the universe know what we plan to do. Your intention is so huge. So I like to put my hands over my heart, but you can do whatever you feel called to do. And just repeat in your mind or repeat out loud. I intend to release everything 
holding me back from happiness and joy. I am open and ready for healing. And this meditation will change my life in a powerful way. Good. Now, I just want you to go ahead and just take a nice, big, slow, deep breath. Good. And I want you to bring to mind all of the worst things that have happened in the past. The things that make you the saddest. Things that make you angriest. You don't have to say what they are. Just kind of make a list in your mind of all of the worst things. And allow those sensations to bubble up in your body. We often say feel it to heal it. Doesn't matter if you're visual or not. I actually like when people shift to those other senses. Just making a list in your mind of all of the worst things, all the things that make you saddest. Maybe some anger is coming up. It's okay. This is exactly why we're doing this. And then I want you to just mentally scan your body and just see where you're feeling the impact of all of these things. Maybe you're feeling it in your stomach. Maybe there's a tightness in your chest. Maybe your hands are on fire, whatever it is. Good, and I want you to just take a nice, slow, deep breath and breathe your awareness into that area. And then become aware of all the emotions, all the feelings that come up. You can put a name to them if you want. It may even just be an indescribable feeling. Maybe the way your body's feeling. Just become aware of that now. Also, if any words are coming up, maybe it's something people said. Maybe it's something someone did. Uh, and then take a nice, slow, deep breath and breathe in all those feelings. As you exhale, just allowing your mind and body to just drift and float and connect back to another time, another place, when you felt or thought a similar way. Your subconscious mind knows how this all connects. Maybe something that came up already, or it may be a new place entirely. Just drifting and floating back to another time, another place, when something similar happened. And just become aware of what's happening in that scene. Remember, if it's a difficult scene, you can just watch it as an observer if you want to. You've already survived. You don't have to relive it. But it's important to see how this impacted you. And just see who there, who's there with you.
and what's going on in that scene. What do you notice about yourself in this scene? All right, now I want you to take a nice, big, deep breath. And I want you to, just for a moment, breathe yourself into that body. Merge your consciousness with this other aspect of you, this younger version of you. Just become aware of what they're feeling, what they're thinking in this moment. Also, where are they feeling the impact of this experience? Where is this energy stored in their body? It may be the same place as before, or it may have shifted. What sort of beliefs are they taking on about themselves? Or what are they deciding to do because of what's happening? Maybe they're closing their heart off. Maybe they're shutting down. Just become aware of what they're doing in this moment that may be still affecting you today. Excellent job. I want you now to just take a nice, big, deep breath, and I want you to shift out of that body. All right, see what you notice about your energy. Maybe this has made you feel small. This has shrunk you down, constricted you. Just see what you notice about your energy. One of the things I like to do is look into the eyes. Look into your eyes and see what this is doing to your soul. Good. Now I want you to shift your attention to the other person in this scene. If there's not another person in this scene, that's okay. You can just hang out for a moment. Quite often I find this is also tied to someone else. So I want you to shift your focus to this other person in the scene. And just become aware of your first impressions of them why they behave in the way they are. All right, this might sound a little weird, but I want you to just take a nice, big, deep breath. Breathe yourself into their body. Merge your consciousness with theirs. You'll be amazed and surprised how easy this is to see what you're thinking, to see what they're thinking, what they're feeling why they're responding or behaving in the way that they are. Putting yourself in their shoes, so to speak. And just become aware of your first impressions.
Maybe they have their own issues going on. Maybe they're not taught the right way to show love. You know, whatever comes up, just trust what comes to mind. And now that you can see that this had nothing to do with you as a person, I want you to take a nice, big, deep breath, shift out of that body. I want you to imagine a golden white healing light coming from your heart to them, letting them know that you understand. And they don't have to be stuck in this place anymore either allowing them to integrate this in their own time and in their own way. If you want, you can also share any forgiveness or anything else that feels right in this moment with them. Uh, now I want you to shift your attention your focus back to you, your younger self, this other aspect of you. And I want you to do the same thing. I want you to imagine once again a golden white healing light coming from your heart to this other you, comforting them, consoling them, softening their energy. Maybe you're hugging them, maybe you're rubbing their back, whatever feels right to you. And I want you to open up to having a mind-to-mind -mind conversation with them. Like a telepathic communication. Letting them know that you are them from the future. That this had nothing to do with them. And that you came back to set them free from this. It's not worth their happiness to hang on to this anymore. And I want you to share with them anything that you've learned from this experience. Anything that they need to know so that they can move forward and step into this space of joy, of happiness, of contentment. What do you want them to know so that they can move on with their life? Go ahead. Now I want you to let them know that it's time for them to come back back to their rightful place in your heart, back where they belong. I want you to bring them close to you and I want you to breathe back in their happiness, their joy, their innocence, this excitement for the life ahead. And as you breathe this in, further allowing those walls that you've built up around yourself to keep yourself safe, to keep yourself closed off, Allowing those to dissolve, disintegrate back into time. Yeah, they served a purpose before, but you don't need those at this point in your life. Walls are great at keeping stuff out, but they also don't, don't let all the good stuff in. God, allowing this happiness, this joy to flow through the body, almost like waves washing through the body with each big deep breath, releasing any sadness, any anger, 
Any stuck energy from the past? Any heaviness? It's not serving anyone anymore. With each big deep breath, feeling lighter, feeling freer, feeling more of your true self. With each big deep breath. If emotions are coming up, that's great. Don't hold any of that back. While you're doing this too, I want you to thank that younger version of you for everything that they went through to teach you such valuable lessons, to help you grow as a soul, and to bring you to this moment right now. Feeling that love, that gratitude for them. Ultimately, you are so much better because of this experience. And this will get clearer as time progresses and as you continue to do this. Uh, now remember to return to this anytime you need. I encourage you to do this as much as needed. And with each successive layer, this will get easier. You'll feel lighter. You'll feel freer. You'll have more insights, more clarity. And you'll just be in a better space, better equipped to move forward. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you on the next video.